Hello everyone, here I have a question from square and square root and this type of questions are really important. Now what they are asking here, find the least number which is to be subtracted from 6090 that is 6090 to make it perfect square. So this number is not perfect square, 6090 is not perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by subtracting a number from it. Now there are two type of question usually asked, one is like to multiply and divide and one is to subtract and add. Whenever they are asking us to find out the least number, the smallest number to be multiplied or divide, you should use prime factorization method. If they are asking you to find out the least number to be subtracted or to be added, then you have to do the long division method. That is the division method which, is, which you use to find out the square root, uh, that is like the perfect square number. So how to do this? So let's begin. So we're going to use a division method. Now this division method is different than the normal division what we do. So let me write down the number here. So we have 6090. So once we got the number, we know that this number is not perfect square, right? So you're going to get a remainder here. So the first step here is you have to start pairing up the number from the right side. So you can see that 90 will become one pair and the 60 will become one pair. Okay, there's no number left here. If there's a number, one single number left, it's okay, no problem. You can start solving in, uh, from, if the single number is left also, we can start solving it. Now here there's no number left. So here if you see, the, the pair here I got is 60. So I have to solve for 60. Now here, you have to choose a divisor in a such a way that its, uh, its square should be near to 60, that is, or else you have to find a perfect square number which is less than 60, or equal to 60 or less than 60. So there is no perfect square which is equal to 60, right? So we have to find a number which is less than 60. Perfect square means like 4, 9, 16, like 5 as a 25, 4, 4 as a 16, 3, 3 as a 9, 6, 6 as a 36. Those numbers are called perfect square. Now if you see, I have 4, 4, uh, sorry, not 4, 7, 7s are 49. 7, 7s are 49 we have. And then we have 8, 8s are 64. After 7, we have 8. So 8, 8s are 64. Now I cannot take 8, 8s are 64 because it's greater than 60. So I'm going to take 7, 7s are 49. So divisor will become 7 here. So the, you have to take only the perfect square. First step is pair, start pairing up from the right side. Second step is choose a divisor. Uh, whose uh, square will be near to the uh, the pairing up number. So here 7, 7s are 49, it's closer. So 7, 7s are 49. The subtracted, how you do normal subtraction, subtracted. So you will get here 11. Now drop the second one. So when you're dropping, you should drop the entire pair. So 90, I'm going to drop it for the second step. Now next, now see the, this is really interesting here. Uh, you should again for the next step the divisor will change it will not be 7 here so what will be the divisor so it's really important the step so here the second the ne next step divisor will be square of whatever quotient you got here the quotient is 7 right square uh, you should take a double of the quotient so what I have here 7 double of 7 is 14 or 7 to the 14 if I said square I'm sorry it is not square you should take a twice of the number or the double of the number so double of whatever quotient you have here which is 14 7 double is 14 right 14 now it's not yet over now along with this 14 I have to choose this one single digit in such a way that when you multiply with the same digit you should get number equal to 1190 or less than 1190. So if it is number was perfect square you will get equal to it. Now this is not a perfect square number right so you will not get exact number you will get some number which is greater or less than it. Now. Uh, how to find out the single digit like let me explain once again I have a 14 now I have to find out the single digit such a way that you should multiply with the same digit suppose I'll take here 6 I will take again 6 here I'm going to multiply with 6 all right so if I take 7 here I'm going to multiply with 7 like 7 and 7 in that way so here I'm going to first multiply with 7 let me check with 7 if I'm getting near to 1190 7 7 is a 49 7 4s are 28, 28 plus 4 is 32, then 7 1s are 7, then plus 3 is 10, so 10 uh, 1 0 2 9, it is less than 1 1 9 0, let me take next number, so 1 4, 
again uh, remember whatever digit you're taking here the same digit you should multiply with so next number i'm going to take is 8 with 7 i have tried i'm getting less number so 8 8s are 64 8 4s are 32 32 plus 6 is 38 Okay, then 8 ones are 8, 8 plus uh, 3 is 11, 1184. One, now this number is closer to 1190. One, if I take 149 one, multiplied by 9, this number will become greater than the number which I required. So I'm going to take 148 into 8. So 148 multiplied by 8, this is 7, is 1184, one, subtracted. So obviously you will get the answer here 6. Yes, that's it. Now we cannot solve this further. So you can see that I got the remainder 6 here. If the 6 was not there, if I subtract the 6 from the given number, the number will become perfect square. Okay, I got this extra 6 right in the remainder. So if the 6 was not present, my remainder would have become 0. If it, the remainder is 0, it means the given number is perfect square number. Right, we can find the square root of it. Now this 6 has become extra. So if I subtract the 6 from the given number, whatever number I'm getting, that will be the perfect square number. I hope it is clear how we are doing it. Now let me just subtract the number. So 6090 is not a perfect number and they're asking us to find out the least number to be subtracted. So whatever remainder you're getting, that number you have to subtract from the given number. So 60 nine zero subtracted by if I subtract six from it I'll get six zero eight four and six thousand eighty four is a perfect square we can find the square root of it if you take a square root of six thousand eighty four the answer will be seventy eight how I got seventy eight whatever quotient you got here that will be your square root that's it okay that's what I said if this six was not there this number would have become perfect square that is 6084 will become perfect square number and the square root of that number will be whatever quotient you got so the quotient will uh, is a for the square root of the given number so the least number to be subtracted here is 6 so therefore least number to be subtracted to be subtracted from 6090 is 6. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.